So in this video, we will solve some problems related to implicit differentiation. Now what is implicit differentiation? Implicit differentiation is when you have y in the equation. So let's just see how we can solve this. Now we have here 4x power 5 plus 10y equals to y squared plus 5x. So how can we solve such, such a question? To solve such a question, we will start off by deriving each function individually. So we'll start off by deriving 4x power 5 individually. Now the derivative of 4x power 5 is, we'll take the 5 and multiply it by 4 and you'll get 20x. And then from the power you'll subtract 1, you'll get 20x power 4 added by 10y. Now what do we know? We know that 10x, the derivative of 10x is 6 squared x. So the derivative of 10y is sec squared y. But one thing to keep in mind, whenever you derive a y function or a function or an individual number with y, you have to add dy over dx. Because the derivative of y is dy over dx. So we'll have here sec squared y with dy over dx equals to the derivative of y squared is 2y but also with dy over dx. And then here we will derive 5x which will give us 5. So now how can we find dy over dx? Well we will solve this just like so how we solve normal equations. So we will take 2y multiplied by dy over dx to the other side. So we'll have dy over dx sec squared y subtracted by 2y dy over dx equals to 5. And then we'll take this 20x power 4 to the other side. So we'll have minus 20x power 4. Now let's just solve this. We will take here common of dy over dx. And then when we take common, we'll have here 6 squared of y minus 2y equals to 5 minus 20x power 4. Then to get dy over dx, we will divide by 6 squared y both sides. Then this will cancel out and we will finally have dy over dx as 5 minus 20x power 4 divided by 6 squared y minus 2y. Now for the following exercises, by using implicit dif differentiation, we have to find dy over dx. Now how can we solve this? So first of all, you'll start off by deriving each set or each pair of number individually. So we have here the minus, we'll just write the minus as it is. And then we'll derive x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. Because we'll take the 2 and multiply it here by x and then we'll subtract from the 2, 1 which will give us 2x power 1, which is the same as writing 2x. So we'll have here 2x. And the derivative of y squared is 2y. But whenever you derive y, don't forget to write dy over dx. So we'll have dy over dx multiplied by 2y equals to the derivative of 4 is 0. So now to get dy over dx, We'll take all of this to the other side and we'll have here 2x equals to 2y dy over dx. 
and then we will divide by 2y both sides. So this will give us a final answer of when we cancel out the 2 with the 2 we will get dy over dx equals to x over y. Now for question number 2, how can we find the derivative of this function here? Well, we will start off by deriving each number individually. So we'll derive 6x squared here. This is the power you'll rule. So you'll take 2 and multiply it by 6. You'll get 12. And then you'll write here x. And then from the 2, you'll subtract 1. So you'll have 12x power 1. Now also this part here, we will derive it. So you'll take by using the power rule, of course. So you'll take the 2 and multiply it by 3, which will give us 6y. And then from the 2, you'll subtract 1, which will give us 1. But whenever you derive the y, don't forget to write dy over dx. So you'll have 6y multiplied by dy over dx equals to 12. Now the derivative of 12 is 0. So now to get dy over dx, we'll take this to the other side, or let's just take this to the other side, it's better. So we'll have here 6y dy over dx equals to negative 12x. And then we will div divide by 6y both sides. So this will cancel out. And then the 6 will cancel out with the 12 to give us 2. Now we will finally have our answer or dy over dx as negative 2x divided by y. Now for this question here, how can we find dy over dx? Well, to solve this, you'll just solve it normally like how we solve any other questions. So we'll start off by finding the derivative of this value, and then this, and then this. So the derivative of 7 is 0, and the derivative of y is dy over dx. And the derivative of this here, because we have product rule, we will take f dash g added by f g dash which means that you'll take the first one, the derivative of the first one, which is 2x, multiplied by the second one, which is y, added by the first one, which is f, multiplied by the derivative of the second one, which is dy over dx, because we know that the derivative of y is dy over dx. So now to get dy over dx, we will take 2xy on the other side, and then we will have here x squared multiplied by dy over dx, and then we will take this to, the, to this side here, minus dy over dx equals to negative 2xy. So now we will take common of dy of dx. When you take common here, we will be left with x squared. When we take common here, we'll be left with negative 1 equals to negative 2xy. Now to get dy of dx, we will divide by x squared minus 1 both sides. So this will cancel out and we will be left with dy over dx equals to negative 2xy divided by x squared minus 1. So in question number 4, we also have to find dy over dx. And how to do this? We will differentiate each individual number alone and then we will find for dy over dx. So right over here we have power, so we'll use the power rule. We'll take the 3 and multiply it by 3, which will give us 9. After that, we will subtract from the 3 1, 
which will give us 2. So we'll have 9x power 2 subtracted by the derivative of this here. Now when we have 9x multiplied by y squared, it means that we have the multiplication rule we have to use. So we will write f dash g added by f g dash is the derivative. Now f dash means the derivative of the first function. So the derivative of 9x is 9 multiplied by g which is y squared added by f which is 9x multiplied by g dash which is the derivative of y squared. So the derivative of y squared is 2y and because we are deriving y we must multiply it by dy over dx. So we'll have here multiplied by 2y multiplied by dy over dx. Now we'll write all of this here. So we'll have here 9y squared added by 9x multiplied by 2y multiplied by dy over dx equals to Now we'll also find the derivative of the 15 cube of the 5 cube. So 5x cube here we have the power rule. So we'll take 3 multiplied by 5 which would give us 15. And then we'll subtract from the power 1. So we'll have 5x power 2. Now to find dy over dx we'll take everything that to the other side. So we will have here. 9x multiplied by 2y multiplied by dy over dx is equal to 15x squared subtracted by 9x squared added by 9y squared divided by we will divide this both sides in order for us to get dy over dx so finally we will have dy over dx as 15x squared minus 9x squared plus 9y squared divided by 9x multiplied by 2y. So this question, we'll just solve it as how we solve the other questions. We'll take the derivative of each one and then we'll find dy over dx. So let us start off by finding the derivative of x multiplied by y. Well, this is a multiplication rule and you know that the multiplication rule says that f dash g added by f g dash is the derivative. Now f dash, here we have f and here we have g. So f dash will be 1 multiplied by g which is y added by f which is x multiplied by g dash. The derivative of y is always dy over dx. So multiplied by dy over dx. So this is the derivative of x multiplied by y. So we will write it here. y added by x multiplied by dy over dx minus. Now we will find the derivative of this part here. So this is the chain rule. So we'll start off by finding the derivative of cos, which is negative sine. And then we will write this as it is. And then we will multiply by the derivative of what's inside here. So it's the derivative of x, y. We just got as y added by x dy over dx equals to the derivative of 1 is 0. We have here negative and negative, which will make it positive. So this here will be positive. Now to solve for dy over dx, we will take the sine xy and multiply it inside y and also inside x dy over dx. So we will have here y added by x dy over dx added by sine x of y multiplied by y added by sine xy 
multiplied by x of dy over dx equals to 0. Now we'll take the variables which don't have x, y, dy over dx in the other side. So here we do not have dy over dx and here we do not have dy over dx. So we'll take them to the other side. Now we'll have here x dy over dx multiplied by added by c sine x y multiplied by x dy over dx is equal to negative y minus sine x y multiplied by y. Now we will find common for dy over dx. We'll take here common and we will have here x added by sine xy multiplied by x is equal to negative y minus sine xy multiplied by y. So now to get dy over dx we will divide both sides by x plus sine xy multiplied by x. Now these two will cancel out and then finally we'll have dy over dx as when we take common in the numerator of negative y we would have here 1 added by sine x of y and then when we take common in the denominator we will have here 1 plus sine x of y so these two will cancel out and then we'll finally have this answer as the dy over dx. Now for question number 6, we have to find dy over dx. Now to find dy over dx, we'll find the derivatives of each one individually. So right over here we have multiplication. So how can we find the derivative of this? Well to find the derivative, we'll take f dash g added by fg dash. Now this here is f. And this here is g. So let us find f dash. Well, f dash will be, or the derivative of y is dy over dx. And g dash is, now the square root of x plus 4 can also be written as x plus 4 power half. So the derivative of this, we will use the power rule, we'll take half and multiply it by the coefficient which will give us half and then we have here x plus 4 and we will subtract from the power 1 so we'll have minus half and we'll find the derivative of what's inside the bracket so the derivative of what's inside the bracket is 1 so we'll multiply it by 1 now let us substitute this here in the derivative so we'd have f dash which is dy over dx multiplied by g added by f multiplied by g dash which is half x plus 4 power negative half now this is the derivative of this here now let us find the derivative of x and y now the derivative of x multiplied by y is, we will use the same formula here. So f dash will find the derivative of x, which is 1, multiplied by g, which is y, added by f, which is x, multiplied by g dash, which is dy over dx. Now we will write it here also. plus the derivative of 8 is 0. So now, to find dy over dx, we will take this to the other side. And we will take dy and d over dx to the dy over dx and of this side. So we'll have here dy over dx multiplied by the square root of x plus 4 subtracted by x dy over dx equals to y minus y multiplied by half x plus 4 or negative half.
Now over here we will take common of dy over dx, so we'll have the square root of x plus 4 minus x equals to y. We will take common also on this side, so we'll have y 1 minus 1 multiplied by half x plus 4 power negative half. So now to get dy over dx, we'll just divide by the square root of x plus 4 both sides minus x. So when we cancel this out, we'll finally have our dy over dx as y 1 minus half x plus 4 power negative half divided by the square root of x plus 4 minus x. Now for question number 7, to find dy over dx, we will derive each number individually. So let us start with the negative x multiplied by y. So this here is the product rule. And we know that the product rule, to get the derivative, you have to take f dash g added by f g dash. So our f is given as negative x, and our g is given as y. So f dash will be negative 1, and g dash is dy over dx, because we know always that the derivative of y is dy over dx. Now here we'll have f dash which is negative 1 multiplied by g which is y added by f which is negative x multiplied by g dash which is dy over dx. Now this is the derivative of negative x multiplied by y. Now we have to find the derivative of 2. The derivative of 2 is 0 because this is a constant number. And the derivative of x over 7 we have to find. Now x over 7 is the same as writing 1 over 7x. So the derivative of 1 over 7x is 1 over 7. So to get dy over dx, we will take this to the other side. So we'll have here negative x dy over dx equal to 1 over 7 added by y. Now we will divide by negative x both sides to get dy over dx. So dy over dx will be equal to 1 over 7 plus y divided by negative x. Now for question number 8, to find dy over dx, we start off by deriving each function individually. Now we will here we have multiplication. So we'll use the product rule which says that f dash g added by f g dash is the derivative. Now f dash, now here over here we have f and this here is g. So f dash will be dy over dx multiplied by g which is sine x y. Because we know that the derivative of y is dy over dx. Added by f which is y multiplied by g dash. Now how can we find the derivative of sin xy? Well the derivative of sin xy, this here is the chain rule. So we will take here the sine and derive it. So we'll have cos and then we'll write the xy as it is. Then we will multiply by the derivative of xy. Well the derivative of xy, when we use this here, the product rule, we'll find the derivative of the first one which is 1 multiplied by g which is y added by f which is x multiplied by g dash which is dy over dx. So the derivative here will be y added by x multiplied by dy over dx. Now we will write this all over here. So you will have here cos xy multiplied by y added by x multiplied by dy over dx is equal to
Now right over here we have y squared and the derivative of y squared is 2y this is the power rule multiplied by dy over dx because we know whenever you derive y we must write dy over dx added by the derivative of 2 is 0. Now to solve this we will take the dy over dx in the other side and when you take it in the other side it will be negative. So you'll have here dy over dx multiplied by sine xy added by y multiplied by cos xy multiplied by y added by x multiplied by dy over dx minus 2y multiplied by dy over dx is equal to 0. Now we'll take common of dy over dx. But before that, we'll take this to the other side. Or we'll subtract it here, both sides, to make it to go to the other side. So we'll have here, when you take common, we'll have here sine xy added by x subtracted by 2y is equal to negative y cos xy. Now to get dy over dx, we'll just divide this both sides. So finally, we will have dy over dx as negative y cos xy divided by sine xy added by x minus 2y. Now for question number 9, we will solve this question here by using implicit differentiation. So we'll start off by finding the derivative of each function. The derivative of negative 8 is 0. And the derivative of this, we will use the product rule. So what does the product rule say? It says that f dash g added by f g dash is the differentiation or is the derivative. So now here we have f as x and g as y. So let us find f dash. So our f dash will be 1 because the derivative of x is 1. And our g dash will be 3y squared multiplied by dy over dx. So when we are doing implicit differentiation and when you are deriving the y or giving the derivative for y, add multiplied by dy over dx always. So now let us substitute this in the multiplication equation. So now we'll have f dash which is 1 multiplied by g added by f which is x multiplied by g dash which is 3y squared multiplied by dy over dx. So now we will also find the derivative of this here. We will use the same product rule. So we have here f as x cube and we have y as g. Let us find f dash and let us find g dash. So f dash will be 3x squared and, uh, and g dash will be dy over dx because the derivative of x cubed by using power rule is 3x squared because when you have x cubed like this we we'll take 3 and multiply it here so we'll get 3x and then you we'll subtract from the power 1 which will give you 3x cubed and the derivative of y is dy over dx so now we will write this according to product rule. So f dash is 3x squared multiplied by g added by f which is x cubed multiplied by g dash which is dy over dx. Now to get dy over dx we will take all the other functions which have no dy over dx in the other side. So we'll be left here with x cubed multiplied by dy over dx added by 
x multiplied by 3y squared multiplied by dy over dx equals to when we take this to the other side we will have negative y cube and then when you take this to the other side also we'll have minus 3x squared multiplied by y and then if we want to get dy over dx we will take common so when you say common we'll have here x cube added by x multiplied by 3y squared equals to negative y cube minus 3x squared multiplied by y now to get dy over dx we will divide both sides by this value here so this will cancel out and then we will finally have dy over dx as negative y cube minus 3x squared multiplied by y divided by x cube added by x multiplied by 3y squared